Okay, just a quick update on uh, my uh, tank and that little mini pond. Uh, this one tank I just wanted to show you. Uh, the plants are totally out of control. Out of control. The plants have grown quite a bit. Uh, this little plant right here, I'm going to move that one out to the greenhouse pond because uh, the one in the greenhouse pond has gotten too big. Uh, now another thing, try to keep your duckweed under control. Use a fork to pick up the duckweed. And the hornwort, you'll have to pinch it out and keep it under control as well. Or it will smother the light for the other plants. So if you remember this uh, tank, the plants are quite small, um, and now they're quite large, and the guppies are all hungry. Um, we'll do a quick look at the a quick look at the outside guppy pond. So. Um, Everything looks good. I took the glass, the upside down wine glass out for now because this plant is out of control. I'm going to move this plant into the outside pond. Let's feed these fish a little bit. They look like they're really hungry. And then I'll put the glass back. Um, I only had one dead guppy uh, since I set up the whole thing that I found and everybody appears to be healthy. So it could have just been an older guppy. So I'm not worried. Guppies don't live forever. Sometimes when you first set up a, a guppy tank, if everything is brand new um, and the water's new and the rocks are new and you don't have enough... Uh, aged uh, living water with uh, good bacteria growth, uh, things can go wrong. And if your guppies start to die one by one, um, you start to see them swimming funny and dying off, do partial water changes every uh, other day if you have to. And if you have another tank that is aged where the guppies are doing very well, take some of the water from that tank and put it into your problem tank. So I know some of you were commenting that you had some problem establishing the tank. Uh, as long as you have lots of baby fry, they'll grow quick and uh, eventually your tank will stabilize. So this plant here, I'm going to take it out, put it into uh, the outside pond here in another week or two when the water temperature warms up a little bit more and um, because it's just it's too much and I'm going to take that little grass that's in the house uh, tank and just have little grass in here that way the upside down uh, wine glass won't be so overwhelmed because I felt like when I had the upside down wine glass this plant taking over there may seem to be a little bit overcrowded and, the and I have seen a baby uh, guppy or two in here as well. So I haven't done any cleaning except for I did clean the filter in that little pump there. This little pump there. And I got it at the pet store. It's like a $20 pump with the filter. You always want to have a good filter, little filter attachment, so it doesn't suck in the babies. But you can see that the guppies are all doing really well in the outside guppy pond that's in the greenhouse. This is the greenhouse. I'm having my coffee and that's just a quickie video. I'll do another update. I have to run to work so um, that is just the quick update on the sweet little guppy pond.